I also now want to introduce uh, BJP MP and former MOS Defence, Dr. Subhash Bhamre. The past three months have been seeing a harrowing experience for people. You are aware, Dr. Bhamre, this harrowing experience for people. I believe you have personally intervened in your constituency. In fact, uh, some members of your constituency also call you the, the Sonu Sooth of politics because you have been helping them. I want to understand, now that we kickstart Unlock 2, can you share your experiences of that trouble? Thank you. Uh, as a people's representative, I am a member of parliament from Dule constituency. So naturally, during this pandemic, people were very scared. In the month of May, many because of the lockdown, many people stranded in different uh, states. In the, so what in the month of May, I decided so to debate. give the e-passes to these people. The procedure of e-passes was quite complicated. People were finding it very difficult to get the e-pass. And that's why they started contacting me. And I decided to float a new link on uh, social media and appeal the people, those who who they want my help, they can send the details to my office, they can contact me personally. Now, as, in, as the number of uh, requests started flowing in my office, I decided to open my office in Dhule. I, uh, I appointed at least 15 people to process all these application forms and help the people. And I also started uh, uh, contacting, suppose it is from the uh, any a small district. The e pass was issued by the collector office. I started contacting collector and different officer in that office and started processing these e passes. And because of my intervention, uh, people are started getting the e passes easily. And as the news uh, spread, uh, people from other district also started contacting, mm -hmm. people from other state also started okay. contacting. And I'm very happy to tell that, you that. 2,500 people from this front state I could bring to Maharashtra nice. and in the Maharashtra I could get a uh, uh, good number of people from Nagpur, Del uh, you know, Nagpur Dr. Mumbai, Bamre, Pune to my district. But Dr. Bamre, I, I mean, uh, you know, this question will also be asked uh, of, of public representatives that uh, what you're doing as a personal intervention uh, is something that was expected of the government, respective governments, uh, state government, the central government. Uh, since you are a doctor, Dr. Bamre, and a very celebrated one at that, I want to ask you about the COVID peak. What in your assessment is the time frame that we are looking at for this COVID-19 peak to come? Someone says July, August, September. The day unlock started, from that day till today, the number of cases are rising. And that's why the peak is yet to come. We are expecting peak in the month of September to October. And after that, it's going to flatten and come down. No, you're, you're saying that the peak is expected in September uh, to October, that, that period. Now, that's a lot of time. Have I heard you correctly? You're, you're telling me that uh, we can expect the peak in COVID-19 uh, cases in September to October. That is a what uh, most of the, those people are expecting that feel. They are feeling so. Now, Dr. Bhamre, uh, if that is the case, if we are expecting the peak to only come by September or October, do you think we are ready because we are already in a state of unlock Right? We have completed four lockdowns and now we are in a state of unlock two. Do you think we can sustain this, uh, this till, uh, till October or November? See, what is the government has decided, that is absolutely right. They have not yet lifted the lockdown. They have started the unlock procedure slowly, gradually, giving the, because at the same time, the country like ours cannot afford the lockdown for many, many months because we have to take care of the economy also. And that's why the Prime Minister was absolutely right in uh, uh, making some of the concessions as far as industry is concerned 
the uh, government has allowed other some of the industries to start and the package of 20 lakh crores to revitalize the economy it is a great step considering the uh, developing country like ours our total annual budget is 24 lakh crores per year this package is 10 percent of our gdp so compared to many other countries, this is really good package to support the poor because in this era, uh, era of pandemic, we have to support poor also. We must see that they get the enough food, we must see that they get enough money in their hand. And that is what our government has done, our uh, prime minister has done. And as far as the uh, economy is concerned, there are two big pillars for our economy. One is MSME and second is uh, uh, agriculture. Mm. And in both the sector, uh, schemes uh, given by the central government and uh, money given by central government is phenomenal and that will definitely support our sinking economy. All right, Dr. Bamre, my final question before I let you go. Uh, see, uh, we and the whole world are working hard to find a vaccine for COVID-19, for coronavirus. We made some headway. The Prime Minister also chaired a meeting where he took stock of uh, where we stand in terms of research. My question to you is, Dr. Bhamre, the real challenge in a country like ours is not just, it does not end with finding the vaccine. The challenge then begins on how to administer that vaccine in a country as huge as ours. Do you also feel that this is a huge challenge? Yeah, I agree with you. It's a big challenge, but then uh, our country has done this before. So we are, we are very sure if the vaccine is found, this vaccine, the vaccine is not going to be a big problem. We have eradicated smallpox. We have eradicated uh, many other disease, disease before. That is not a problem. Problem is that Till today, there is no vaccine at home. People are trying, our, our government is trying, many countries in the world are trying, but we have not yet found out any vaccine. It takes a time. Even the uh, pandemic before, no other pandemic, I mean, it they took uh, five years to develop the vaccines. So it's very difficult to tell that we will be able to develop vaccine in years to come. All right, Dr. Subhash Bamre, thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. That's a wrap in this edition of Trending Tonight. News will continue on the other side. Take care.